Uh, hey, what's going on, city slickers and all my slicker rats? Look where I'm at. I'm on Fordham, man. Fordham and Grand Concourse, y'all don't know. Listen, I've been in New York for two days, right? I've been in New York for two days, and um, let me tell you, when I left my boy Dave's house, uh, D Nasty, it was dark, and he was like, you leaving now, it's dark. And I know he was telling me that because the roads were bad when we went to the store earlier, the roads were really bad. And um, I vlogged it, but the vlog was too long, it was like 18 minutes, and then um, it was a lot of music in the background. I left the music in the car. Um, I don't know how I had the music on, but um, so leaving his house to the to the highway, it's like 20 miles. So for 20 miles, I'm on a little road with a creek on my right and um, woods on my left. So everybody that's from that town, they know the road. So let's say the speed limit it was 45. I was doing like 30 and you know some people get annoyed but it's a lot of black ice so um i was i was driving slow and at one point i regret leaving when it got dark i should have not left when it got dark you know what i gotta get in the car i gotta get in the car it's snowing it's too much it's too much it's too much can y'all see the snow on the bottom light it's a little too much it's like i just left bad and now it's worse. Oh, I'm on a bus lane. Jesus, they got cameras here. If you're on a bus lane, you get a ticket. Oh, man. This is really bad. Look at this. Oh, this is really bad. All right, let me get in the car. I had to change locations. I had to get off of Fordham because I was in a bus lane. And um, I don't know if you guys know, there's cameras on the street. You know, um, there's a camera if you go too fast. There's a camera if you eat the light. And there's a camera if you're in the bus lane. And there's also a camera on the bus. So if there's a bus behind you and you're at a bus stop, the bus is going to take a picture of your car and you're going to get it in the mail. So don't just think, oh, um, there's cameras for the bus lane. No, there's actual, is actually cameras on the bus. So um, if you're in a bus lane, block, blocking the bus lane, the bus is going to get behind you and snap a picture. And you know what? I'm all for it because there's a lot of people in New York that drive like idiots. Like like if they're playing a video game, like um, they don't respect, they don't know. Um, having a license is a privilege, you know? It's a privilege to be able to get in your car and go anywhere. You guys see the way I'm always traveling. I'm up and down. I'm all around. It's a privilege for you for you to be able to do that. You know, I'm not not everybody that travels has a car. There's a lot of people they don't drive. You know, they have the money to buy a car, but they don't want to deal with the headaches. Um, yeah, get back to that. All right, back to the channel. So yeah, so um, when I leave my boy's house. I'm driving so paranoid. I'm so paranoid. So one road is like uh, 10 miles. I'm on that road. It's like, oh man, I should have not did this. This don't feel right. I'm driving too slow. I'm paranoid, Bunny Giao. I'm like, oh man, I should have not did this. And I know I was paranoid because I turned the music off. That's when I know I'm paranoid. And you know, this is a place where um, Let's say it's ice on the on the ground. It was it was like slush, like raining ice. It was like that. And um it's the type of place where something happens to you. Um good thing about D Nasty, he always has a uh emergency bag and that's good. You know, just in case your car breaks down. So I advise all y'all to do that. When y'all go on trips, have a bag with your or just have a bag in your car, period. For whenever you're traveling, if something happens, you have certain things like a granola bar, a flashlight, some gloves, a blanket, a towel, certain things. Get a backpack, put your stuff in it, and just leave it in your trunk. God forbid something ever happens. Like, let's say you go to the store on your PJs, your pajamas, 
and you got a, sh a sweat on, you break down. Now you got to walk five miles or two miles, whatever the case is. Like um, he told me, I think last week he ran out of gas. I ran out of gas in the Bronx. It wasn't too bad. Uh, my BM was with me. I left her in the car. I was trying to push it. This happened in Jackson Avenue. I think I told you about that. But it wasn't too bad for me. He had to walk like a mile each way. So, yeah, guys, have your emergency bag in your car. Something happens. Let's say, like I said, let's say you use your um, car just to go to a gas station and get something. But you went in your pajamas and a sweater. You know in your bag, your emergency bag, you got a jacket. You got maybe a blanket, a towel that, you know. So, yes, it's always good. Like, I always have an extra pair of sneakers. or I have boots in the car. So, yeah, so I have your emergency stuff. So I'm I'm driving, and um, I'm paranoid, you know. So I did the first 10 miles with no problem. But at the end of that 10 miles, at the end of the road, um, you're supposed to make a left. Now, I was going so fast, I didn't know this part of the road was coming up. And by the time I realized what I just did, I was already in the middle of the intersection. And I looked back and it was a car coming to me, so I just made a hard left. Thank God nobody was coming to, coming at me from the right. They would have hit me. And yeah, I was like, wow, look, I was coming down the hill too fast. I was supposed to stop and then make the left. Instead, I just came down the hill and popped out in the middle of the intersection. I was like, wow. So let's say those 20 miles usually take me, I don't know, like 20 minutes. Now those 20 miles took me like 35 minutes. Easy, 35, 40 minutes. That's how long. I was driving slow. And um, I don't care if there's people behind me, they could go around. I'm not gonna do 60 on, on top of black ice. No, let them go around me. I'm fine with that, go ahead. So yeah, and then um, once I get to the to the highway, and um, I'm crossing the Delaware Gap Bridge, um, people's doing like 80. So I said, all right. So I'm doing 65, 75. Then I realized, you know what? They probably have better ties than me. So I just brought it down to like 65, the speed limit. And nobody really does the speed limit. Everybody does 75 and 80. But I was just doing 65. I was like, you know what? I'm going to respect this. This is dangerous. And um, like I said, on that other, on that road towards the highway, those 20 miles, it's dangerous. Like I said, it's a creek on my right. So if, if your car comes off the road, you're going to fall in a frozen creek. And it's dangerous, you know. You don't know... Um, Oh, and the phone doesn't work over there. So it's not like if something happens to you, you can make a phone call. You can't use your phone there. Um, I have Metro. I think the only phones that work out there is AT&T, Verizon, and uh, Virgin Mobile. Yes. So, you know, it's very dangerous, man. When uh, you're at a place like that, you're basically on your own. So you got to make your best judgment, man. And if that means go slow, go slow. I don't care if I got to put my hazards on. I'll put them on and go slow. You know? Where are we? Jesus, eight minutes. All right, I got to close this vlog. Yeah, so um, I've been in the Bronx for two days now. And Dave was like, yo, you waking up at six o'clock. What are you, stressed out? I said, yeah, I'm stressed out. This apartment, this hunting, this apartment hunting is so stressful. But hopefully uh, I should find something this week. Then I'll be okay. Um, yeah, it's really stressful, but I was able, I was, I was out there almost two weeks. I was able to get some rest and that's what I did. I just was resting every day, every day. Oh man. Um, another thing, my phone wasn't ringing. My phone usually rings, 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 rings. And most of the day I'm on the phone over there. My phone doesn't ring. So it's like so peaceful. I just missed the wedding singer. Um, my BM told me that um, Adrian, Adrian, Adrian something, I forget her name. The Boricua girl, the Puerto Rican girl from uh, the Cougar Girls. As she was on um, a show on TV, I forgot. Yeah, so she was on it. Yeah, I don't know if she won. But uh, yeah, she was one of the contestants. 
so yeah, guys. So I'm in the Bronx. Um, this hopefully this week or next week I have something. It's really stressful because I want to hit the road again, but I can't hit keep hitting the road. I got to stay here for a little while, make sure I get this place, then I can hit the road. Cause I want to go to Atlanta. I want to go see Polar Bear. Cause so, but I, I don't want to leave until I get this. Once I get the place, I could close it, uh, lock my door, and just go out there. And yeah. All right, let's get into the shout outs. I got a few shout outs to give. Let's go. Need my glasses. All right, guys. Shout out to Trinity. Trinity and Kia. Kiki. Uh, Kiki's from Brooklyn. And uh, yeah, shout out to Trinity and Kia. Kiki. I met them at Wendy's. That was very nice. And Kiki's from Brooklyn, but she moved out to PA. Uh, yeah, nice. Good for you, Kiki. And shout out to Caitlin Taylor and Matthew from uh, the po uh, from ShopRite and the Poconos. And shout out to Hector Bordy from the Bronx. I was in a supermarket talking to somebody, and he was like, I said, I'm from the Bronx. He was like, yeah, I'm from the Bronx, too. Um, so shout out to Bordy from the, um, Hector from the Boogie Down Bronx. He said he moved out to PA. Yeah, there's a lot of New York people in PA, you know. And um, yeah, I forgot who else I had to give a shout out to. I forget, but uh, I, I'll give it to y'all tomorrow. It's just I'm exhausted. I've been on the road so long, and um, today, calling all these real estate people, telling them, explaining to them why they wasn't able to get in touch with me. I couldn't read my emails. I couldn't get messages, and it was just stressful. But um, I got some rest. I'm back, and I'm going to go hard.